All right, folks, it's road trip season and the family's out. Now we look happy and like we're well put together, but it was, we're not going to sit here and act like it was, it wasn't a hell morning, but it was, we've had worse. We've had worse. And now we're going to go to Starbucks to send, to spend eleven ninety four on two drinks. But we're going to Jerome, Arizona to get lunch. Jerome's one of my favorite places in Arizona. It's absolutely gorgeous, great driving roads. And we're going to eat up there. And then we're going on a train ride. And we're going to see if the Tesla can handle it because it's, it's in a remote area. There's no chargers out there. So we're going to have to see how it all works. And uh, I hope you enjoy the journey. All right, so we ended up going with a Trenta Soy. No, that's a Venti. Stupid. Coffee's stupid. Trenta's 30. Yeah, but we got 20 and it's called a Venti. Why did Starbucks, an American company, decide to use Spanish for the sizes? Protest. So we ended up getting this. It was $7.51 as opposed to us both getting. So the savings are already occurring. Uh, personally, I would have just gone to McDonald's and gotten their iced coffee. It's like, what is it, $1.97? I think it's just a dollar. Yeah, and but Jamie brought up a good point is it's the quality's lower and it might make me blow out. We don't have time for that. So well, we didn't go that route, but on a normal day when I'm at home and I you know I want to go out and get a coffee, I'm probably going to McDonald's and then I just hop on the throne and bah, Bronco Nation. Oh, People want to see. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're darn right you're sorry. Those look good. I'd drive that. Yeah, you would. Is that all you needed? Here's the situation we're running into. We're gonna get there right now with 28% battery, but that's where we're eating lunch. Then we're gonna go back down the mountain, down 6,000 feet to the train station. And then from there, there's nowhere, no chargers. I don't think there's any chargers that close, but this is the thing like the people worry about. Oh, you have to stay on a certain route to drive your electric car. For the most part, in the United States, if you own a Tesla currently, you're gonna be fine. Like, people think that when I drive back to Pennsylvania, you have to go 30 minutes off route to get a charger. It's just not at all true. Charging network's very dense and reliable, but we're just testing that a little bit more today as we go off into places that don't have chargers. Gonna see if we make it. Oh. I need a raise. Cowgirl up. Uh, we should go to that cab. Oh, by the way, we went past a billboard that said cabaret with cheeseburgers. It says grab both buns and eat it like a man. And we're going there for dinner. And <laughs> we're going there for dinner. And I can't wait. the settings go I have the car on chill mode to get a little bit more range I also have the steering in sport mode I kind of like sport for road trips because little motions make big movements out on the road it's kind of a little more stable on long road trips that's kind of what I feel like you guys will have to let me know what you think but that's the settings we have to kind of extend the mileage as much as possible also some people have said oh chill mode doesn't help you on the interstate as far as efficiency goes if you're going at a constant rate that's true but when you go to change lanes or just those little modulations you do um, with the throttle, that it does make a difference. Um, this person from Virginia does not know that the left lane is for passing only, okay? So Virginia, thumbs down right now. Uh, we will make a right lane pass because that's what I'm gonna do. Come on, come on. These little modulations that you make as you're driving on the road, it, it does help to be in chill mode because it just smooths that out. The car drives more like a Mercedes S-Class or BMW 7 Series. As far as the throttle response feel, not the suspension, not the noise in the cabin, I'm just talking about the gas or electric pedal, whatever you want to call it. Currently getting off at the Cords Lakes exit. Shout out to the officer right there. Support the blue. There is a supercharger here at Cords Lake. You know, if you want to, like you can see here, you would just get off this exit if you wanted to charge. And you right where that McDonald's sign is, is where the charger is about. That's where your charger is. This is the route we need to go. You can see, again, it's right on your route. We're gonna skip that and push a little bit, just like we're driving a normal car. If you had a gas powered car, you wouldn't be worried about fuel for this entire trip unless you're in like a, like an Evo 7 or something. We also didn't realize this is a four hour train ride. Uh, that was glossed over somehow. So it's a four hour train ride. We're gonna park our car with about 25% battery. 
We should get some regen on the way down. It currently says 28% battery when we arrive. I don't think we're gonna get stranded, to be honest with you. Um, but I do like pushing it. it. Makes the video more fun. How do you feel about pushing it? Um, you know, I'm a little nervous. Are you? Yeah. Well, north, you said we're on you, North 69. You said that you... Uh, Dinner for two. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't know if I turned the... So there's a setting within here somewhere round... Round trip. So if we were to go back, we'd have negative 3%. So I think we'll have plenty. 28% is a lot. That's a third. Yeah. To get us back to here. 28% is 28%. I don't know if I removed the... There is, there are no, here, settings, automatic, trip planner, add supercharger stops. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to sh show this, oh. cameraman. Um, <laughs> I'm not paid enough. Yeah, so it are, we have trip planner, so it adds the supercharger stops if necessary. So there's none okay. necessary on this trip. We could have also added, put that up, exit, up, up. And then if we go here, we can add a stop. We could have added the haunted hamburger as a stop and then the train station, camera back to me, and then the train station, <laughs> Jesus. This is, this is what they want to see. It's almost 420 and we're on Route 69. The, what's the name of this train? Is it a Brio? It's the, the Verde Canyon. There Delta. we go. And we can also refer to that as the Green Canyon. That's not what it's called. Well, another Tesla Y there. You look dumb. Yep. Okay. So Jamie and I were just talking now. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Emotions are running high here on a Saturday. We were talking about positive affirmations and setting goals and uh, for a while years ago every day i'd write down you know my top 10 goals but you write them as if they've already happened <laughs> and my number one was always i'm a mom and now <laughs> and now we're in a road trip driving our daughter up to get on a freaking train this is why I'm funny, it's because I'm <laughs> mentally disturbed. At my core, I'm a very fragile person, but that's why I'm funny. <laughs> I just get I just get choked up when I talk about things I'm passionate about, I don't know. We drove by the Sunset Point, that's the rest stop I went to. Your hand's gonna be in the shot. Uh, that's the rest stop I went to. And this dude peeked, the stalls are like five feet tall. This dude just peeked in, looked at me blowing it up in there. Like, <laughs> dude, also, why are rest stops? stalls that low. Uh, hey look. What? The, the bull? Alright. Little pull off. Oh man. You forget. It almost hurts your ears how silent it is out here. It's nice. It's so peaceful. Like this is how humans were supposed to live, you know? Little tribes. She fill one up. Oh my word. Hey sweetie. All right, we made it here. You can see we're up at like 5,500 feet elevation. And it's interesting, this is all solar panels above me here. It'd be cool if there were like just some destination chargers here, just like three or four. The infrastructure is already here. Um, so that would be cool. But the view behind me is ridiculous. Jerome's one of my favorite places in Arizona. And we're going to the Haunted Hamburger. There's a big line out front, but it's because they're not quite open yet. So I think their hamburgers are great. Probably one, probably top five for me if I've ever had top three. Now, as far as battery, we got here with 26%. I was getting a little worried because we were at one point at 24%, but with the regenerative braking and going downhill, we actually added some energy back into the battery. So that was good. Um, I think we're gonna be okay just getting to the train station. I'm just interested to see as far as getting to the next charger. I don't know where the next closest charger is, so that will be interesting. Not if you have a Tesla and dog mode. I've just actually never seen this graph, this graph before. How to judge vehicle temps. Nice. So at 95, you're looking at a buck 28 in 30 minutes. It's pretty solid.
bought a postcard from the Liberty Theater there. There's a legitimate theater that still runs up on top there that you can get tours of. I just, I just love this place. I'm moving here. We have 23% battery. Says we're gonna get to Verde Canyon Railroad with 26 because we make energy here. Slight issue we've run into, did not read the fine print and we were supposed to show up for this, I almost said flight, this train ride an hour early. Uh, train leaves at one, it's 12.47. Etron looks incredible. Big fan. We made it. They held the train. Here's what it looks like. Jamie. Jamie's fired from planning, I think. So we're gonna get to the Cords Lake Supercharger with 4% and then we'll get home with 20%. So all we need is a 20 minute charge there and we'll be able to get home. So we're in downtown, is it Clarkdale? Did you not make it to Cottonwood? Are we in Cottonwood? No, maybe it is Cottonwood. We just came across this place, never been here before. And we're gonna get dinner here because we're both hungry. And, uh, yeah, we should arrive to the charger with 4%. We'll see what happens. Also, for you parents out there, this is a life changer. See this right here? This screws up and clamps onto the side of tables. That way you can bring this into a restaurant. It's a little bit better than a high chair. So highly recommend that. I'll have it linked below. I don't even know what it's called. Just completed a diaper change. Uh, she decided to urinate while we were changing, but we have the 3D mats in the back of the car. Not an issue. <laughs> So we wasted I mean, a diaper. We're covered in piss now. Right. Not an issue. But the car's, the well, car's the, not. the car's fine. The car's Little good. splash there, but we'll clean it up. Anyways, 3D mats are the best mats in the game. I have a discount code for 3D mats uh, for the interior of your Tesla, or they cover a lot of brands. So, hey, what a natural ad placement. 3DMatsUSA.com. Use my code in the description. Um, you'll get a discount on your site. I earn a commission from that, and uh, life goes on. Baby. Helps it helps feed the baby. Yeah, let's people always talk about the Tesla. People always talk about the Tesla software and it being so good. Here's an example of that. When I bought this car, when you put your turn signal on, you can see here on the screen that it that it shows it pops up as to uh, what's in your blind spot. So you can actually take this and move it to different parts of your screen. When I bought my Model Y, that feature. <laughs> that feature didn't exist. Also, when I'm turning lanes, so I'll tap, just tap my turn signal, and then the car knows once I'm in this right lane, it'll turn the turn signal off, and that's another setting that was just updated recently. So there's all these little things and these features that the car did not have when I got it that now it has that all of the new Model Ys and 3s and Ss and Xs have. So that's an example of how the software gets better and your car stays relevant over time. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> See how exciting it is? Is that all? That's all. Okay. 3D Mats also just released their Premier line. So you can see that here. They're carpeted and they fit incredibly well. Um, and it still has their Max Spider technology, which lets them adhere to the carpet of your car without destroying it, but then also letting it stay in place perfectly. I mean, these are like the nicest floor mats I've ever seen. My discount code's different for the Premier ones because they're a lot more expensive, but they are incredible for a carpeted mat. All right, on that charge, we went 176 miles. That's from 94% down to 3% with arrival, um, with a current average was 306 watt hours per mile. So not crazy efficient. Couple reasons for that. Roof rack on top, I need to get that removed since I'm not uh, actually using it right now. That hurts range, and then 20 inch wheels hurts range as well but they are forged, so they're five pounds lighter, so all around 20 pounds lighter, but still the roof rack, um, and then going up a mountain, then down a mountain, I don't know, 176 miles is what we got out of that charge. So you can see how, why people complain about the not getting their advertised range, but again, the charging networks is so good that generally isn't a problem. Now, as we were sitting here charging, I was watching some YouTube videos and your Tesla will notify you when it's charged and ready to leave. That way you're not sitting there watching your YouTube video and wasting time. So a 255 mile round trip and we had to add a 20 to 25 minute charging session to get back home safely on a car that's rated at 316 miles of range. On the way up, the car was only running at 62% efficiency. Various reasons for that, roof rack going above 80 miles per hour, there's all kinds of things. And with the car being as efficient as it is, running on only the equivalent of two to three gallons of gas, that's the reason when one thing is thrown off, you get such a significant reduction in advertised range compared to real world range that you get. But after you do a road trip, your car is gonna be a mess, just like the front of mine is, and you're going to need to wash it. So click this video right here, showing you how to properly clean the exterior of your Tesla along with all the stuff you're gonna to need to do it, I think it'll really help.